Gotta make sure my hair is okay. What up, y'all? It's your man Jay. J Dog. J Unit. Nobody calls me that. Don't worry about that. Uh, but I'm here with the Man of Steelbook presentation because last night, as I'm recording this, Vinegar Syndrome announced their June new releases. And uh, I wanted to come at you guys with those and let you know what's up. These are going to be shipping after their big halfway to Black Friday sale. So like really late May, early June, we should be seeing these. Um, first up, we got a 4K release of China O'Brien 1 and 2. That's starring Cynthia Rothrock and directed by the dude who directed Enter the Dragon, also known as Robert Klaus. So there's a little bit of a clout, a bona fides there, because, you know, he directed the most famous Bruce Lee movie. These are films that I have not seen. I've never seen the China O'Brien films that came out in 1990. Like one right after the other is wild. I think the first one came out in like February of 1990. And the next one came out in like June or July. Like they, you know, they were filming shit back to back way before Lord of the Rings, y'all. Okay, back in 1990. Um, I haven't seen these. I was, I was young in 1990. So uh, these passed under my radar in favor of things that were more animated and I don't know, had like a, a mermaid in them. Um, I was watching different shit when I was younger is what I'm trying to say. So I didn't, I didn't actually get to, to see these, but uh, I'm looking forward to checking them out. I like how they, they mash up like East and West with her name. They got China O'Brien. So like her first name says, I work for Golden Harvest and I know Kung Fu. Maybe I also speak Cantonese, at least a little bit, like enough to find the potty when I'm over there. Her last name says, I'm still a Westerner. I still grew up eating rice once a week and not every single day at every single meal. You know what I mean? Not exactly a staple food for us round eyes. I hope they mash up some other Asian and Irish stereotypes for this movie, though. Like maybe she's like an alcoholic because she's Irish, but like she can't drive because she's got an Asian name, you know, even when she's sober, like she can't parallel park or whatever. I think that would be uh, wonderful, but probably also um, offensive, maybe. Oh, well. Uh, we also got big news, kind of disappointing some people on the internet, too. Some people on the internet are a little underwhelmed with this next release. I'm going to announce Navy Seals. This is the Vinegar Syndrome Ultra Series. Uh, so it's going to be pretty nice. It's going to be you know nice box set and everything like that. It's going to look really premium. Um, priced at $42.99, but it's 4K. You know, so there you go. Charlie Sheen. That guy needs his cocaine and probably HIV money for the, not for HIV itself, but, you know, for the suppressant drugs. The guy's on meds. Support him by buying the movie, right? Uh, Navy Seals, another movie from 1990. So they're going, like, thick in the 1990 releases. We also got Dangerous Game coming out. This is their uh, Vinegar Syndrome Cinematograph release. Let's say that fancy. It's a French word, y'all, and I don't speak very much French. Parlez-vous non francois, okay? I don't even know what that means. I think I might have just uh, asked to borrow a condom in, in French, but I, Lord knows they don't use those things in France. I don't use those things. I got two kids. Um, this is a Blu-ray, Dangerous Game. It's an Al Abel Ferrara film um, that's got his wife in it, he cast his wife. Smart man, okay? Because if you're going to be a director of films and you're going to marry an actress, you got to keep her happy. You got to cast her in your movies. This is not coming out in 4K, uh, despite being a 4K master. I think it's a 4K master. And it's going to be priced accordingly at $32.99. So not bad right there for that movie. Uh, uh, Ferrara is the guy who directed King of New York around the same time. This was 93 that Dangerous Game came out. So again, we're like sticking with that first half of the 90s for the first four films. Um, Homegrown Horrors Volume 3 is also coming out. This one, three movies inside this one. Uh, it's going to be $55.99 or $54.99. Excuse me, $54.99. So it's priced accordingly, but you're getting three films. All going to be pretty schlocky. Um, almost guaranteed. I right, clear my throat. Edit that out. Um, the first volume of Homegrown Horrors and the second volume of Homegrown Horrors are still available too on the Vinegar Syndrome website. So you can get all three. I don't know how interested I am personally in those. 
Um, they sound kind of interesting, but also 55 bucks. Like, whew, you know, I don't, I don't know about that. Uh, also, they're putting out two secret releases. I love the idea of this. It's two mystery movies for $69.99. The first sounds like it's going to be a 70s film released to Blu-ray. And uh, Vinegar Syndrome on their website describes it as a, a mouth-watering classic. So I don't know if that is a hint as to what the movie is or is about. It's mouth-watering. Um, so yeah, mouth-watering 70s film. And the other in the secret release two-pack of mystery movies sounds like it's going to be a big-budget 80s movie. And it's going to be released on 4K. Uh, it's described as a nonstop thrill ride from a producer, director, and star that reinvented this uniquely 80s genre. So um, it sounds like it's going to be like a wicked 80s kind of thing and possibly, you know, a big budget thing. So we will probably all recognize that it. it's not um, going to be something like Homegrown Horrors where you may not have heard of the films that are contained within that particular uh, set. This one sounds like it's something you've heard of, and it's like a super 80s type of, of genre. So uh, I'm kind of excited to see what those secret releases are. I always love a surprise, right? I always love a surprise. I was never the kid who wanted to know what he was getting for Christmas, snooping around in my parents' room trying to find out where my mom hid the Nintendo. That wasn't me. I just was never that kid. I always liked a surprise. I always enjoyed opening something up and then hopefully being pleasantly surprised. Sometimes you guys know with blind buys on movies, sometimes it's not always a pleasant surprise. It's always a surprise. I got to say I'm tempted to go with the secret releases, the two mystery movies, but also $70. That seems kind of high. I mean, the China O'Brien, uh, the Asian Irish lady, you're getting two of her movies for, um, a mere 45 bucks. So like why the extra, um, why the extra $25 for that $70 mystery movie? I mean, that's an average of $35 per movie. I don't know if these are going to be, there's no description on the website as to like, maybe these movies go together and they're going to include them in a nice box and maybe some other printed materials uh, that usually will like bump the price up. Right. Uh, when you get something that comes in like a nice box set and it's got, um, you know, it's got like printed materials like a book or something like that. I mean, maybe that's how they're justifying the $70 price. But to me, as much as I like a surprise, I'm also kind of afraid of spending $70 on a blind buy or two blind buys. It's kind of scary. It feels a little bit risky, like I'm rolling the dice for 15 bucks. Sure. 15 bucks per movie, fine. You know, I'll roll the dice if there's a little less risk, but this feels like very high risk of spending $70 on two movies that you're like, I ah, didn't need to see those uh, films at all. So I don't know. I might wait till they hit the street and then uh, regretfully make some um, woefully expensive purchase on eBay. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Don't worry about me out there. Y'all, don't worry about me, okay? I got movies to cry on, okay? Uh, so that's the update from Vinegar Syndrome. I, I don't know what you're excited about. Are you like the people online and you're like not excited at all because it's like, yeah, Navy SEALs? Or are you like, fuck yeah, Navy SEALs? Like that cover art looks pretty sweet. So I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking. Or tell me to go fuck myself. That's cool too. All right. Peace, everybody.